This video is going to go over how to register and access the ASHTO TC3 Library of Learning Modules free for local road agencies. The first step is to register for an account with the ASHTO store. So we're going to walk through that process as well as we're going to walk through how to then navigate the catalog and to find a learning module of interest for you and add it to your shopping cart and check out. Uh, there are over 190 online training modules through the ASHTO TC3 um, modules uh, or online site. TC3 stands for Transportation Curriculum Coordination Council, uh, and many of those modules are recommended for engineers and highway construction workers. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. Uh, and the TC3 training is provided and sponsored by the Federal Highway Administration uh, for local and tribal transportation staff. So there is a promo code that can be used to get that training online for free. They have topics on pavement preservation, um, flagger training, pavement marking, plowing, winter maintenance, uh, crack sealing, filling, a little bit of everything. So definitely check it out. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and share my screen and just show you how to create an account and then how to navigate and use the uh, TC3 store. So I'm gonna start over here at the Ashto store. So store.transportation.org forward slash training. And I'm starting here because I need to register for an account. So in the upper right, you see my account sign in or register. I do not yet have an account. So I'm going to click register. And then you see it's um, asking me for either the option to sign in, but I don't have an account. So we're gonna look down here where this green icon says register. And in order to register, you need to just put in your email address. You know, ideally, oh, and see, I'm already making a mistake here. That So this is the sign in field. I'm gonna go over here to the right and I'm gonna look for the register field. I wanna register new. So I recommend using an organization email address. Like if you work for a, a town, then you are going to want to um, use your town municipal email address if you have one. If you don't, you can use a personal email address, but if you find that the promo code doesn't work, if it doesn't recognize you as a local agency employee, just reach out to us and we are happy to help get that resolved for you. Um, but certainly if you use a government agency email address such as at portsmouth.org or at um, portsmouth.gov or at durham.gov or at merrimacknh.gov, it should recognize you and um, process that promotional code with no problem. If you're using, you know, like what I'm using here, a Gmail account, you might have some issues with that and you could uh, just let us know and we'll, we'll let you know. So I'm gonna try registering with this Gmail account. We'll see how this goes. You have to create a password and as with any password there are some requirements for it choose your employer and this is where you would choose you know, if you're registering as part of um, your employment with a municipality city or town government so you're going to choose city town government your occupation so um, whether you're a designer an engineer a planner a student um, other. So if you are an equipment operator or highway maintainer, you might select other. And then just click next. You have to fill in your information here, your personal information, contact information. And job title is not required, so I'm just going to skip over that, but you could certainly fill that in. Put in town, put in state. Oh, my Zoom screen is hiding my state. One moment. There we go. And your zip code. Phone number is required. And if it doesn't look like it's accepting it, let's try the format and see. We'll see if it accepts that. 
indicate whether it's your work or your home phone number and then click next it looks like it took it that's good and this might seem a little confusing but you do need to fill in um, shipping information and um, billing information even though you won't be getting billed or we won't be shipping anything these are online courses so I'm gonna say my billing info same as my information click next my shipping information is the same as my information click next review the terms and conditions here um, and if you agree to them you can either indicate I agree or if you want to be a registered user but not be contacted um, you can check that and I'm already registered under a real email address so I'm going to just say I wish to become a user but not be contacted and do the verification that you are a real and genuine person filling this out and lastly click submit and you'll see I'm getting a little red error I have to check off that I agree to these terms and conditions and now I can come click submit and we're gonna wait for my account perfect and you'll see it's got me all logged in here um, I can see my account info up here so at this point, I am registered for a national account and I'm registered to start browsing or ready to start browsing the training catalog. There are a few ways you can navigate from here to get to the TC3 courses. So you can just go here under technical training and you can um, look at the different categories. What I would recommend is once you're registered with the Ashto store, go instead to the TC3 page, go right to the TC3 catalog of uh, modules that are available with the promotional code. So tc3.transportation.org. So here I am at the tc3.transportation.org site. Uh, and what I need to do is log in using that account I just created. And it, it uh, kind of recognized me and it logged me in quickly. You might have to fill in your login info. And now here I am right at the TC3 list of courses. What you can do here uh, is you can kind of just look at featured training or you can go up and go to training resources it bounced me around a bit I apologize for that in here under training resources go to courses and you'll see it speaks to you know 190 web-based trainings um, in the following categories, construction, material, maintenance, traffic and safety, pavement preservation, employee development. So you can browse by category. You know, if pavement preservation is interesting to you, uh, you can go ahead and click browse pavement preservation courses and you're gonna see all 32 courses that might fall under that category. You can also um, search by discipline. You can search by level. Um, so what level, um, is this course recommended for in terms of you know, somebody brand new with no experience uh, to the topic or somebody who is more experienced with the topic and maybe um, expanding their skill. The other thing you can also do is up here if you wanna just search, you can go to all training, choose all training and then search for something, let's say for instance, I wanna know about high visibility garments. So I'm gonna change the search filter to all training, type in garments and hit enter. And you'll see it brings up the results that are applicable to that search. So let's imagine this is the, the course I wanna take. I want to register for this TC3 course. I've searched for it, I found it. I'm gonna click on this blue link. It gives you all sorts of information about it. You get a description of the course. You get some information about the training level like we were talking about a little earlier. The target audience, you know, who this would be helpful to or beneficial to. Uh, the learning outcomes, you know, what the participants should be able to do after the, the course. You can see how long it is, you know, so this is one hour. This is a one hour course. You can see some potentially other related courses that might be of interest. So they're suggesting PPE might be of interest, you know, down here. Uh, but let's say I want to register for high visibility garments. I'm just going to add it to my cart. So it's kind of like shopping. So you just add it to your cart. Now, when I'm ready to check out, I can either go to my cart right here from this orange icon, or I can look up here at the upper right of my screen and I have a shopping cart icon. So if I click on my shopping cart icon, 
Where you want to be um, pausing and making sure you put in that promo code is at this checkout screen. If I click proceed to checkout, it's going to go through a billing and a credit card checkout step with me. But again, we have a promo code that's going to give this course free for local road agencies. So you need to scroll down and that's where you'll see enter promo code. So right here, the bottom right of my screen, there's an option to enter the promo code. So I'm gonna go over and grab my promo code, go back over and enter that promo code into this box. So I just wanna reiterate because it's easy to land on this screen and if you can see kinda of how my screen, my browser window is set up, I don't see the promo code box, I just see an orange proceed to checkout box. I have to scroll in my window to get to that promo code box. So make sure you scroll down, enter your promo code, click apply, and now you see it has taken my $50 down to $0 due. So once you have $0 due, and once that promo code has been applied, then you can proceed to checkout. You can take a look at everything and you can then review your order. Once you are happy with your order, you have everything the way you want it to be, you're going to click place order. So I am placing my order right now for the high visibility garments. It says my order has been placed and my training course is now available in my training library. So I can click on my training. And it took a moment there, but it did load high visibility garments is right here. So now I would click on this course title in order to begin my course. If you, um, log back in and you're you're starting your training and that link is no longer available you can find the my training section under my account in the upper right up here so just go to my account and then you can choose my training right from there as well so again quick quick review um oh and 